Hi, I'm Sean. I'm the MD for Vines Group. I'm here today to talk to you about my experience of switching into an EV, specifically the use of this fabulous i5 M60. I'm not going to talk to you about how it looks, albeit it is fantastic. I'm not going to talk to you about how it drives, albeit the performance is unbelievable. I'm not even going to talk to you about how luxurious it is inside, but you might get a chance to look at that in a moment too. I'm going to talk to you about my experience of having an electric vehicle and what that's meant to me as I'm unable to charge at home. Sean, you're unable to charge at home. Can you share a bit more of your initial concerns and expectations when considering the switch to a fully electric vehicle? Well, I was a bit of an EV skeptic, I guess, for me personally, because I have no opportunity to charge at home. I live on a terraced house in a really busy street, and there's no way I can guarantee parking close to my house, let alone outside it. Um, I thought that was going to prove troublesome uh, in terms of keeping the car charged and being able to use it as my daily driver. Um, however, my real life experience has transformed that, and I'm now delighted to be able to drive, and I'm lucky enough to have this fantastic car. Sean, having easy access to work charging, how has that played a role in your EV experience and do you think it's a crucial factor for those without home charging? So I've, I've got easy access to charging at work, so that's a massive benefit. And I think without that I'd really struggle because I haven't got that home charging capability. Um, I think for me, if you're unable to charge at home, you need to be able to have easy, regular access to charging, whether that's at your place of work or wherever you'd park your vehicle for work in the first instance. Sean, I'm aware that you've travelled over 3,000 miles, including a 500 mile round trip, using various public charging solutions. Can you tell me about the experiences with different charging options and how convenient it was for you? So, I've done over 3,000 miles in this car, lots of long journeys as well. One was a 500 mile round trip, so that could get you a bit nervous, I guess, if you like, in terms of using your electric vehicle. Um, I've used lots of different public charging stations, all of which have worked like a dream, um, including things that are small uh, kilowatt chargers near the seaside to multi-supercharger centres in the middle of the country. Um, um, I found it to be really easy and straightforward. The car actually helps you manage that charging uh, position over a long distance. Um, in fact, when we're in the car in a minute, I'd like to show you exactly how that works. Sean, how has the My BMW app enhanced your EV experience? Well, I think the My BMW app's invaluable with an EV vehicle. Um, I mean, it's really easy to access on your phone. Um, you can even have a widget on your home screen that takes you straight into the app. Um, the app does loads of things in terms of your uh, management of the car. So on a really cold, horrible winter's day, you can get the car to precondition and therefore it's all warm and all the screens are clear before you get into it. Um, the app also helps you uh, work out your route plan and suggested charging points if you need one on your particular journey. Um, but it also gives you lots of feedback about how the car's performing, uh, what your driving style is like, if you've got a heavy right foot or you're driving Miss Daisy. Um, it's a fascinating uh, little bit of kit that really enhances your ownership and especially so when you're driving an EV. Thank you Sean for sharing your experiences and insights. Is there anything else that you'd like to add or any final thoughts? I think for me the most important thing is that you get to experience the product. So we're doing extended test drives on EVs. You need to see how it would work in your real life. Um, as I say, I was quite skeptical about it first thing. I now wouldn't be without one and I've definitely got an EV booked as my next vehicle too. So irrespective of the challenges about home charging, there's definitely an easy life to be had with an electric vehicle, however far your commute is. One of the things that's really cool is if you do have a long distance trip, and the battery charge isn't going to be enough to get you there, the car actually suggests the most appropriate place to stop for the shortest possible time to allow you to continue your route. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't I show you from inside the car? One of the things that's really important in terms of setting up the vehicle is the parameters of how much charge you'd want left upon your arrival at your destination. Um, the easiest way I find of doing that is using the speech recognition function. It's this button here on the steering wheel and so I'm going to press that now and select root criteria. Root criteria. 
please say a route criterion. And what you can see now is that's put here on the screen how much charge I'd want either at my destination or at the next charging uh, station. Now, I'm a bit risk uh, heavy, so I'm quite happy to arrive anywhere with 10% charge, but you may want that to be a little bit larger so you've got the comfort of some extra miles when you arrive at your destination. So I've set that in the car now, and what I'll do is I'm gonna go back to the navigation screen and select to go somewhere that's a longer distance than the 108 miles range I've got left in the car. Where would you like to go to? Manchester Piccadilly train station. I found five entries. Which one should I choose? So I'm going to choose the top one there and say that I need to go to Manchester. The route guidance. So it started the route guidance. It's telling me it's gonna take four hours and 45 minutes from our uh, dealership here in Guildford. And what it's doing here is it's giving me options in terms of charging to get me to my destination with that 20% left in my battery. So what it's saying here is, depending on which route I select, it's identified that there's a charging station here in the middle of the country that currently has 15 vacant charging positions out of 24 available with a maximum charge of 205 kilowatts. So that's telling me at the moment, based on 100 miles in the tank, I would need to stop for 24 minutes at 205 kilowatts to allow me to get to Manchester with 20% left in the battery. And, and that's how easy it is in terms of uh, organizing your route. The car does it all for you and selects the very best option for you in terms of speed of charge in your destination. It always talks to you about where you're going to stop, how long you're gonna stop in total, um, and it just makes living with EV really, really easy, especially so much so that I don't have that option at home. So this has been my quick overview of living with an i5 M60. Uh, what, what a painful life I must have. Um, if you'd like to test drive this car or other EVs that we've got in the BMW range, please get in touch with any of our retail centers. We'll be happy to look after you, have an extended test drive so you can really understand uh, what the driving dynamics of these amazing cars are like and equally prove to yourself that living with EV even without home charging is absolutely possible. Yeah.